Hi, I'd like to show you today how to test for specific gravity for a mineral. Why would you want to do that? Well, there are different ways to tell what a mineral is. And even when you um, do some of these simpler tests, one of the tests that can be used to be more specific about a particular mineral is specific gravity. Uh, each mineral has a different specific gravity and you can look this up you know with a simple Google search. So in order to do this specific gravity test you're going to need a few simple things. Let me show you. You're going to need a pad with a pen, a calculator, a paper clip and a mineral. In this case, this is a mineral that looks to me like it could be probably smoky quartz, smoky to clear quartz. But I was able to scratch quartz with it, so I'm thinking maybe it's topaz. So I'm trying to determine is this smoky quartz or topaz? In addition, you'll need a little plastic container with some water, and you're going to need a scale. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to set the phone down here and uh, walk through the rest of this. Okay. So the first thing you do is you turn on your scale. And once it's zeroed out, you weigh your specimen. In this case, it's 12.6. Write that down. All right, so I've just written down 12.6 on my pad. And remove your mineral and put your container with water on it. And if you hit the tear on most scales, it will bring it to zero. The next thing you need to do is suspend your mineral in the water. And so that's where the paper clip comes in handy. So what, I, what I'm doing here is putting a paper clip around the mineral and I'm going to suspend it in water. Here we go. But you don't want to touch the bottom or the sides. As you can see here, the reading is 4.8. So we need that reading. Okay, write that down. 4.8. Okay. The next thing you want to do is you want to divide the dry weight, the 12.6, by the 4.8. Don't ask me how this works, I just know that it does. So let me do the math on my calculator. And I come up with 2.625. 2.625. So at that point, what you do is you go and uh, do a quick search to determine what the specific gravity is of the mineral that you think you're looking for. In this case, I uh, thought it might be topaz, but that's about a 3.55 specific gravity. In this case, it's quartz, which is 2.6. So uh, I hope this is, you know, the simple uh, exhibit, you know, the simple exercise has been helpful for you. And um, you can use this, you know, fairly easily if you have a scale in these simple tools to help identify a mineral. Just remember that it has to be all of the same mineral. If you've got mixed minerals, this won't work so well. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Thank you.